So you ever been sitting on a cruise ship eating dinner and wondering what happens in the back of that kitchen? I mean, there are thousands and thousands of people on these cruise ships. What kind of an operation does it take, not just to make sure everyone is fed, but to also make sure they're all happy? Ladies and gentlemen, I just came off of a 10-day Southern Caribbean cruise on a beautiful Celebrity Edge, and today I'm gonna take you along on a very private, very exclusive, and very behind-the-scenes tour of of the ship's kitchen galley. That's right, we're gonna take a look behind the scenes and see what happens when your food is being prepared. I am really excited to bring this to you and not a lot of people get to see what happens backstage on a cruise ship. And again, we're all very lucky for it. But before we get started, remember two things. Number one, this entire thing is possible because of a man named Martin Gazevich. That's right, he's a food and beverage director on the Celebrity Edge. The man is a gem, an amazing person. Celebrity in general is lucky to have him and so are we. So a big shout out to Martin. Thank you so much for being our tour guide. Number two, you will notice that this entire thing was not planned. Because of this, I was not able to mic myself or Martin. So sometimes our audio will be going in and out because we'll be relying on the microphone that sits on top of the camera. So please keep that in mind there's a lot of noise that goes on in this kitchen so you might not hear us all of the time if that happens i'll come back and narrate but i think we should be good to go otherwise let's roll and let's see what happens in the back of this kitchen while our food is being prepared so the waiters coming in they drop off the dirty dishes they wash their hands and uh morning now you have all this prep when the uh, waiters are punching in the orders, this is the extension of POS, so the chef oh, yeah. can see how much of everything you need to cook. So we try to cook in the smaller batches as much as we can. Uh, this is also a very cool feature for this ship only. I can see right now which equipment is in use. So I can see that the uh, deep fryer is right here. Uh, wow. I think it's uh, also is to control the energy consumption because now you know the fuel is the number one expense. Uh, so that makes sense. Wow. AC, all these things, this cost a lot of money. You know? so, uh, so this is the Cosmo Valley. The way it works uh, here, you have let's say appetizers, soups, and cer certain items, entrees for. Uh, Cosmo and Cyprus. Okay. And then the waiters will pick up all the main courses on the other side and then they go in. This is the station, this is the chef's office over here. Gary Operation Management Office. Wow. This is something we're preparing for the next cruise. Oh yes, the gingerbread house is. Our pastry chef. Hi, how are you? Nice I've been enjoying you. a delicious food. Uh, Maybe a little too much. Uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. All our ice creams are made in house. Oh, we only buy our products which is like lactose free and sugar free, certain brands. Oh, that's good. You make all of inside? Everything else is left to bread. Wow. What do you know? Good morning, sir. Good morning. For ocean view, for Grumas, all around. So it's a. There's one more shop. We just go to the table there. I don't have my shoes. Oh, it smells so good in here. I wish you could smell this. So we'll put it on tomorrow after the public health <laughs> checks the even though it's display only. Oh yeah. Wow. You've been to Eden, but maybe you want to see the galley just doing the preps. Morning, guys. Hello. Hello. So, 
Oh, Chef Andrea, yeah. Andrea yeah. she's yes. in charge in Eden. You met I'm already? In, oh, this is the best part. Oh, my. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's how it's designed. And you see, they only serve right now. They're the food. It's early in the morning, everything is done. A la minute, and it's a, it's a lot of uh, work into this. Every sauce, every garnish, everything is made. A la minute. The hour of Vice President of Food and Beverage Operation, Cornelius Gallagher. He actually is a founder and uh, he sold it, but he was a founder and chef in Oceania, New York. Oh, yeah. Two Michelin star restaurants. Yeah, yeah. So now this is the prime real estate, prime decor, prime kitchen, prime oh. videos. This is not to make money, this place. This is to get a Michelin star. That's what he wants to do because now they have these different categories. I already was telling you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but the viewers. So yeah. that's the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Have a good day, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Hey, Chef. Hey, Chef. Hey, Chef. Hi. From the scratch, we only buy the gluten-free items and uh, just not to have a cross contamination. And uh, this is working 24 hours. The night night guys they're preparing stuff for all the morning pastries and all the preps throughout the day. Yeah, I tried to break the make bread a little bit, so I know. You gotta keep rolling with it, right? To keep the fresh dough all the time. Thank you so much. You just saved this up. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Oh, that was delicious to hear. There's the walk-in fridge, but just the, how much of the dough they're proofing, you know? Not so, much, not so much today, but you see all the resting and, yeah, wow. and stuff like that. Hey, Chef, this is our cheap baker. Thank you, sir. I've been enjoying all of your bread. I think it's been delicious. <laughs> Thank you. going on. Cosmo is serving breakfast and also uh, dinner, uh, lunch. And uh, here they just do the preps right now. Yeah. So, so each um, each dining room has their own preparation kitchen. Basically. It's not like one main kitchen. Yeah. yeah. But because of the other side is where it's right now used for breakfast and lunch, they're doing preps for them as well. So oh, okay. just like everyone's working on the Makes time. Sense. Yep. Then we'll go to see the deck tree, same thing here for the screens. Lobsters. Oh, I had two of them. <laughs> Myself. They are preparing some new initiative. Uh, they want to start to charge and send the lobster. Yeah, uh, no. As a January 2nd. Like the celebrity, uh, like the, no, 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 like the Royal Caribbean, right? That was actually one of my questions for you. You just answered it. Yeah. Uh, our pulp washing facility, just washing the pots. We're gonna go just to quickly through here. Yeah, plus they're bringing uh, charges for the room service from January 2nd. Yeah, I heard about that one too. Yeah, we can do the steps, right? Just be careful there. Right? Yeah. Steep. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of uh, changes coming up. They're not going to be very popular, but. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh. This is like a maze, man. <laughs> I don't know how you know your way around here. <laughs> and every ship is different? Well, the edge class is the same, the solstice class is the same, yeah. Come on, you guys. This morning. Pastry main one is on the top, and then this is like a, a pantry, the cold jar. But also, you get your desserts here, so. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Sounds good. cheaper if you buy the powders, right? Wow, yeah, that's smart. Okay. I smell a lot for this. And basically all the way, all the way, you know, these are called fields, because you can feel them. Uh, you basically, all the sauce is made here. You roll the bones, you the new crop, you put the crop in 24 hours. The pot looks a mess, but the pot's always done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of you as well. Uh, the main one is on the bottom. This must be some pasta sauce or something. <laughs> Food for the room service. I will show you the pantry. All right. That's for our Wellington for tonight. Oh, Wellington, nice. Four thousand pounds of turkey for next quarter because of we were planning to have it for Christmas lunch. Oh, that's and, right. Uh, yeah, people have it. We also had four thousand pounds of turkey for the Thanksgiving dinner the other day. Last quarter. Wow, same for Christmas and Thanksgiving, huh? Yeah. 
I mean, Christmas, the food is very specific. Plus, you know, we have a lot of Jewish guests as well. So we order a lot of the kosher meat as well. So we're trying to get ready for everybody. Uh, I wish I was on that one. Even though I know it's going to be pretty hectic. This is where everything comes from, that's why the, the gentleman was selling some chicken. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And every location you go to, you have pictures like this, so people know the presentation. I don't know if you notice something here. So basically, food is getting prepared over there, the waiters are here outside. There's someone from the galley operation. You have a picture of the food from, from the front and from the back, just to make sure it looks good, it gets covered. The waiters don't touch the food at all. And also, right now, because we have so many new hires, we have 40% of the new crew on board. I have some utility cleaners, the people who normally only wash dishes and clean the galleys. They're helping to clean the food. So, but the picture is there always, it's a standard. So you know you have to put potato first, meat, yep. sauce, garnish, look at it, wipe the plate, and send it out. So. Yeah, it just throws the same every time. Yeah. It's fun to see if you see the picture here. Now they remove the monitor. We can also go and see the, uh, the battle in the blue. Okay. So this is it for the moment. Four hot galleys, garmage, pastry, room service. This is epic. I, I would love to take you to the provision area because there's a huge amount of them. Morning. Like a walk-in refrigeration and all that. Oh, wow. Careful. Thank you. You got it, thank you. I hold it for you, go partnership with Forbes mm -hmm. plus our internal service standards public health so he's been training all through he's helping us with that oh, nice I think I've seen him yeah okay. have you tried even cafe yes uh, well for breakfast we haven't tried it yeah, for lunch yet breakfast and lunch they make uh, great sandwiches here Yep, I've had their bacon, white cheddar. Okay. And they normally have their like, prime rib. Oh, really? Well, it's not. Did I miss it? It's not like uh, they're, they're open at 12 o'clock. Oh, okay. So they're not like uh, New York deli, but uh, they're delicious, you know? I haven't tried the prime rib yet. Yeah. I, might, I might come back there later then. Chef, how are you? Good, how are you? Are you going to have a prime rib sandwich today? Prime rib? Yes. Good, good. Oh, I will be coming back for that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you open? 12 to 1.30, right? Yeah. So here we are in the blue galley. They're prepping, they're prepping for dinner. Ah, so promised land. Wow. <laughs> Next cruise, I'm going to try to book the aqua class. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Is Lumine in this place 
considered to be like the best food? It should be better, yeah. And also it's different to cook for 100 people and... Okay, even the small restaurants are now 300 people, but uh, Moonlight Sonata had 1,000 people at the same time. And right, so, right. so there's different. Menu is a little bit... Uh, maybe a little, the protein is a little more expensive here. Mm -hmm. uh, so is in Lumine. Mm -hmm. We can actually quickly go there if we have time. So they experiment. Then you have majorities like there's like 150 sky suites. Yeah. 140 something. So those people, they will, uh, you know, because it makes difference if you pay or not. Even right. though you would right. pay money, guys. Hello, hello. Right. Even though you think you would pay thousands of dollars for your cruise, you know, like hundred bucks, it doesn't make a difference. But for some people, do. And Lumine Fu is good, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's really good. But they still, of course, experiment. Eden okay. is Eden. There's nothing. Eden. Well, that was, I guess, the question, right? If you if you were a sweet guest, would you go to Eden or Lumine better than Eden? I would. But you would. Yeah. But again, listen. If somebody is like super happy, you know, what to tell you. So this is, this is the fine cut galley right here. Morning. 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 Hello. How are you? Hi. Don't worry. We're just looking around. So they're also prepping for tonight already. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. So same mostly it here is about the meat and uh, you you had it so it's oh, like yeah. uh, First night. upgraded oh, yeah. uh, upgraded it was steakhouse, you know, so that's what it is. Yeah, so it's relatively house. small guest, small place. Uh, they serve up to hundred guests per night. And uh, this man is, of course, chef is chef, but this guy is the roast man. The roast man in ah, the, yes. the roast man in the steakhouse is. Uh, he's, a soul. he's like a chief engineer, right? Something like chef. that. Yeah. <laughs> it's always about the team, so we will we'll see. Exactly. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Just go through here. Yeah. On the day like tomorrow, it's crazy. Hello. Morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You wait, you wait. If you wait for elevator, morning. Good morning. You would have a half an hour. Yeah, we're stepping off at seven. Just you know, the housekeeping is using it for luggage. We're using it for loading of the food. Uh, you name it. We also have this group on board right now. They're called Art VIP. It's only 150 of them, but they're having breakfast and lunch in the destinations with the gangway. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everybody is running around transporting the things up and down. Like when I was loading the ship, I saw just the amount of food that was getting on, you know? Like I see the, the, the boats and the bags and all of that, and then just loads and loads of food. And like these apples, oranges, this. There's a, there's a, net, there's a on, one on Netflix, I believe it's uh, something with Oasis of the Seas, how they load it, logistics, oh, really? trucks behind it. That's crazy. Oh, That's I gotta like see that. Four times more than this. Going down. Yeah, I'm okay. in on the Tomorrow is double than what you saw. And Oasis is four times of tomorrow for us. Ooh, so it's just, they have a special ramps because they would, otherwise they would do it for two days, you know. Right, it would take forever. So, it's just trucks, double, double, double. So this is the Lumine here. It's pretty big actually, and on Beyond is even bigger. So our... Hello guys, good morning. Hello. Well, hello. So they do breakfast lunch and dinner today. It's a sea day, but uh, I see they're doing some breakfast. Uh, it's not very clean right now, oh, so boy, don't, boy. don't check the floor. Hello guys, how are you? That's lunch right. and dinner. This is for the lunch. Lunch. This is for the lunch. Okay. Are you very good, sir? No, it's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Relatively very small galley. Yeah, wow. On that one, okay? So that's it. Anyway, so I'm going to join you for lunch today. Yes, yeah, sure. I'll look forward to it. Sure, dog. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. See you guys later. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Anyway.
Anyway, Mark, you are the best. My pleasure. I appreciate you. Enjoy Thank you so the much. Lumine for lunch. You, All right. Seriously. Thank you so much. You've Always. Been absolutely it's a, it's the best. pleasure. So what do you think? That was pretty crazy, huh? Remember, right here will be the Celebrity Edge Infinite Veranda review. So if you want to check out what your room would look like. And right here is the entire review of all of the dining options that you can get on the Celebrity Edge. So if you wanted to see the other side of the kitchen, all of the food and etc. that came out, that will be in this video right here. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.